I guess I grew up in an environment where mental health was a part of what I knew, um, probably back before it was really a, a diagnosed thing. So I guess some of the behaviours that, that I learned as my coping mechanisms were ones that weren't always necessarily helpful. Um, but as far as I knew, that was just me and that was who I was and, and they were things that I had to try and learn to deal with. So. Um, it was quite a while before I guess I recognised any sort of mental health difficulties in myself um, and where it probably stemmed from was I, I had shoulder surgery and wanted to commit to getting back as quickly as I could so in that space I sought the help of our sports psychologist Maddie um, and was able to be able to not be as apprehensive about going back, back to bowling but in doing that, I built a bit of a support network there that, that when things started to get quite difficult, um, I was able to use that support um, to help me out a bit. It's something that I have battled with for quite a while. Um, for a long time, it had no impact on my cricket and, and quite conversely, the, the more difficult I was finding things off field, the better I was actually performing on field. I, okay. I found cricket to be a bit of a pill um, I was able to throw myself into it and when I, I, t I could just turn up and train and not think about anything else, not focus on anything else and was just performing really well. So because of that it probably masked a little bit some of the issues that I was having. Um, I felt like as long as I was still performing then there was nothing I needed to deal with that I could just put up with it off field but it wasn't something I actually needed to address. I ended up getting to a stage where it probably did start creeping into cricket a little bit just a few extra stresses um, came on board and I got to a point where I realised that, that I actually needed to, to seek some support and, and get some help to make sure that not only could I continue to perform well on field but that I could also function well off the field. So um, that was probably when I started tapping into Maddie a little bit more and, and starting to seek some of the other support networks around me and, and um, get a bit of the help that I needed to continue to be able to perform the way that I have and be in a good headspace. It was a massive relief. Um, being able to firstly have someone that I could work through those issues and figure out what I needed. It, it was more about what I needed to do to get back into a good space and, and to maintain um, a healthy lifestyle, I suppose. And um, being able to to have that support there and then being able to speak to a couple of teammates and stuff about things down the track, just it just lifted a big weight off my shoulders and suddenly everything just got a bit easier, even just by having those initial conversations and outreach. Cricket in particular has a big stigma around needing to be mentally tough and I remember being told that, that you need to be mentally tough to, to play at this level and um, it took me a long time to realise that there's a difference between being mentally tough for cricket and being mentally well. Um, so I think I wanted to sort of help start that conversation to help people realise that you can deal with mental illness but still be able to perform at the level. Um, if, there's, if there's anything that can come good out of me sharing my story in terms of helping someone else that might be struggling a little bit to just encourage someone else to, to seek a bit of help and support and it might be something really minor, they might just have a couple of extra little stresses that they're finding things a bit difficult but if it encourages them to get that help before they get to a point that they're no longer functioning then um, I think we've done a good thing. Yeah so our, our squad did it um, a few weeks ago and, and I think I saw some really good signs out of it in teaching teammates how to look out for each other a lot better. Um, you know, I think whenever we've seen someone with an injury in the past, it's, oh, you know, you've got an injury, you're all right. Speak to the physio, speak to this person, speak to that person. Can I offer you anything? How's it all going? We ask a lot of questions and we're all really involved in that. Um, when it's come to someone struggling a bit mentally, there tends to be a bit more of a let's just leave them alone, um, maybe they just need some time out and, and not really doing what we can to help address it. So I think what, what these sessions have done has helped teammates to be able to identify in each other when someone might be struggling um, and how they can support. We're, not, we're certainly not expecting teammates to be the counsellors but 
if they can help a teammate to get a bit of support and whatever that's, that's going to help them perform better and get the best out of them, then um, I think we're doing a good job and, and these sessions are heading that in the right direction in just being able to identify um, what some of the issues are, what some of the signs are that someone might be struggling and, and certainly where they can get help in terms of going to the PDMs or the sports psych or... If you're not comfortable with those, the ACA has some really good confidential services available that, um, you know, they're, they're there for players and the idea is that players get into a better state because of it. So certainly if, if people are struggling, reach out, get that help that they need and, and use those services. The whole idea here is that we're getting people to deal with those things before they become big issues. So if we can get them in the early stages where it might just be a little bit of stress, things are starting to weigh them down a little bit, whether it be because of an injury or work stresses or family or whatever it is, um, if we can give them the support networks and teach them some ways to cope while they're in that space, um, then we can get them back to a healthy level a lot sooner than if it gets further down the track. So I think the earlier we can get onto people and, and the earlier that people can feel comfortable to reach out, um, then the, the better the benefits will be for everyone.